what is going on guys, Looney here, and welcome to a new sort of series, I guess. It's basically my old videos, but revamped, uh, you know, I have better terminology of literally, like, everything that I could teach you guys now uh, than I did, like, two years ago when I started, well, nearly two years ago, it was like a year ago since I started doing tutorials. But yeah, basically, I've improved on a lot of things, I just want to go ahead and create new tutorials that I wouldn't be ashamed of showing people six months down the line. So there's two ways that we can, well actually there's many ways that we can go ahead and send people a MOG when they join the server. There's only two ways that I'm going to go cover and that's through hard coding the message so you know play a dot send message blah 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 and then config which config you still do the blah 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 message however you will be able to change that without recompiling your plugin. So let's go ahead and send a multi-line message and to do this we'll do new string array and we'll just have two that are basically empty um, and then this will be like something like uh, welcome to spigot tutorials episode one or something like that and then if we were to register the event and then compile so as you can see when we join it says welcome to Spick tutorials episode one and it's near enough centered for those people that want to do it through config um, you just simply create a config yml you would then go ahead and save the defaults just in case it's not been created and we'll have a MOTD string uh, string list that is and the MOTD is the key path to it I would simply have two lines uh, well three lines two that are empty uh, I'm going to go paste this spacing again. However, you can't do tabs in YML. Don't forget that. Tabs will not work. Um, so, in the config version, I'm just going to do the and B. Uh, that way you can see that I've changed the... Oh, you know, that's just not using the hard-coded message. So, this will be the same message, though. Welcome to Spigot... Wait, actually, where did I call it? Welcome to Spigot Tutorials Episode 1. There we go. So that is that, and then if we go ahead and comment out this line, for every string, string, that's in get config dot get string list, and then MOTD, then we can just do play dot send message, check color dot translate alternate uh, color codes, and the character that we want to replace is the and uh, symbol, and then this would just be string. So if we compile this again, we'll notice that the config is currently empty. However, when the plugin is finally loaded and we refresh, it's got uh, more data into it. And this is what's inside. You can see that it sends us the message, the exact same spacing on both sides. Uh, now, the multi-line stuff doesn't give you the spacing. Um, I just wanted to, <laughs> I would want to let you know that it doesn't just give you the spacing. It, in fact, it doesn't give you the spacing. You need to do the spacing for yourself. Um, but anyway, that is how you send multi-line messages as well in config and hard coding. Uh, as an MOTD. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please do rate it as it really does help me out. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.